two in the morning. Rest is getting harder. Hello, welcome. Devil Sniper here, and today I'm bringing you the Colchester United career mode. As you know, we've just beaten Liverpool, which is fantastic. Going to have to sim it on a little bit. The boys are looking rather tired. My two Berlin, well, my Berlin wall in the centre of the park are looking absolutely knackered. But we are working on their fitness, which is pretty good. I'm really chuffed with the way they've played so far. I'm really chuffed with this team. I've decided to drop Balassi out of it for the moment, put Richie back in because I really do love Richie and I can feel a real love affair coming on with this man. So we do have a few emails to look at. As you know, we sold Liam Cooper. We got 500 grand. Colchester board about your performance. On behalf of the board, I want to acknowledge all the hard work and dedication we have seen you bring to the club. We know that you've been in a lot of pressure and speculation from the press. We want you to reassure you that we're behind you to carry forward the Colchester legacy. Why they've come up with that, I do not know. We've had a cracking start to the season. I don't quite understand that. And obviously, a match is rescheduled between us and Spurs. It's now come forward by a day. Fantastic. That really does help me. So as you know, we are away. We're done in the away kit. We are going with the same team that in fact beat Storm's Godset. I don't know why I called them Godset Storm. It's Strom Godset. So we're in Norway. It should be a good game. I'm hoping it. All we've got to do is just literally invite him onto us and hit him on the counter-attack. That's all I'm aiming for. So here we are. Strom's Godset. Got some good home support. Not the biggest stadium in the world. But they're definitely, definitely in good vocal voice. The Strom Godset side. Yeah. I can't remember any changes. Maybe one. I don't think number seven was playing. And then again, was he? Was he a substitute? I'm sure the number seven came on in the first game. Cole you side. The only side, the only change I actually made is I bought Nelson in for winter. Other than that, oh, of course, I bought, uh, I've got Richie still in there. No, that's the only change I made. I bought Nelson in for winter. So as normal possession, attacking. Let's do this. Come on, boys. Let's nick an early goal. Settle our nerves. Oh, referee! Straight away, Mongo gets in the ball. Oh, that's a booking, yes. Well done, ref. Well done, Sam. Three minutes into the game. Disgraceful challenge. Poorly timed. Really poorly timed. Just keep marking. Just keep marking. Oh, now to get the header. Great defensive header from Navas. Only Coley up top by himself. Going to have to play the 1-2. Super Sammy. Oh, can I cut this ball back inside? Moncur, make the run. Moncur, make the run. Get in there, son. This should be 1-0. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? I've just hit the freaking post. It's hard because my defending ain't the greatest in the world. But I'm holding my own at the moment. Oh, they're in. Wow. Wow. You're bad, Sam. If Sammy's got something on that. Oh, my God. That is the biggest hand in the world. Jesus Christ. I thought he'd missed that. I thought he'd missed that. What an unbelievable save from Sammy Walker. And then the punch out. Sammy Walker. Take a bow, son. Oh, the half is... Wow, that went really, really quickly. I've got so engrossed in the game. Got to say, it wasn't an exciting half by any stretch of the imagination. The real highlight for me was the hand of God that was Sammy Walker. That hand on that, that, that save, that was just, oh my days, it was unbelievable. Half time, Strom God set nil, Cole you nil. I'm not going to make any uh, substitutions at half time. I'm going to keep it as it is. Put a big arm around the boys and said, come on, you've got to step up in the second half because that first half was, you know, pretty boring, to be honest. I know we've, we've beaten them, but we need to pick up some. Oh, we need to pick up a goal in this game. Richie, he's so strong. Oh, my God, he's so good. Oh, my God, that's such a bad pass. I'm not blaming Richie for that. He was soaking up the pressure. He'd done a great job. Oh, no, they're playing flashy football. Oh, my days. What a save from Sammy. And Mings gets in there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's it. Come on, Richie. Got a bit of time. Knock it up the line. That's a beautiful ball. It just bounced off him. He selected the wrong player. I didn't want Nelson. That's offside, surely. No, it's not. Play on. Jesus. Play to the whistle. Oh, my God. That's my own fucking fault. That is ridiculous. I stopped playing. Fuck. I'm not going to hear a freaking whistle because I ain't got my headphones on, you prat. I can't believe that. I thought it was a mile offside. I didn't select the right player. That was just a complete and utter fuck up.
Why have they got British bobbies at an away game in Norway? I just want to point that out. Why have we got British bobbies? That's a hell of a header. Sammy, you should have done better, son. You should have done better. Fuck! I am so pissed now. That is completely my fault. Selecting the wrong player. Stopping because I thought it was offside. Get that header. That's a massive... Oh, it wasn't a header in the end. Why did Navas not win that in the air? I do not know. No! Oh, my God! Oof. Thank you. Coley. Oh. Oh. Can I? Can I use the pace? Oh, my God. The Jedi pace. The Jedi pace. Near post. Oh! Follow up. Massey! Oh. Oh. My God. I can't believe they hit the bar. Holy shit. What a sequence of football. And there's no one following up. Flipping heck. And that's the full-time whistle. We suffer our first loss of the season. An away trip to Norway does not pan out very nicely. Full-time score, Stom God set one, Cole you nil. Matchery, oh my God, how many matchery schedules can you get? So, the Burnley game has moved. The Man City game has moved. The Villa game has moved. The Arsenal game has moved. The Chelsea game has moved. And the Arsenal, hold on. Arsenal, 18th of December, new date, 12th of December. Holy shit. Have any Chelsea? Have any... What? Why? So, Arsenal previous date, 18th, new date, 12th. Arsenal previous date, 19th, now 18th. Freaking hell, they move, they've moved the same game twice, the mugs. Oh, my days. We're now in the transfer window, which means I have no choice but to do some transfers. Which is fantastic. I was hoping to get some details back prior to the transfer window, but we'll have a look at my shortlist. I've got Vinaldum on there, obviously 11 mil. Zaza, I would love to bring Zaza in. He's 27, 91 finishing alone is just amazing. Now, Luciano, I like the look of this boy. He's high low, he's got the four star skills, he's got good finishing, he's got adequate pace. I think he'd be a great player. The same with Dybala. Oh my God, look at him. The 82 to 88 finishing, the 89 to 95 ball control, the 83 dribbling, 86 acceleration, 77 sprint speed, so he can power away from people. Then he'll obviously get caught up, but he's got good reaction, stamina, he's got good balance, good agility. I actually really do love the look of that boy. Obviously, I'm still thinking about Lovetsy because I could pick him up really cheap, though his wages could hinder me in some way. How much is he on? Doesn't tell me his wages, which is a little bit frustrating. Wow, you're on 100 grand a week. I haven't got 100 grand a week. I can't have a pop for you. That's a little bit disappointing. So what I'm going to have to do, I've got 20 million. I'm just going to punt in some offers and see how they go. Now, I'm expecting this one to be huge. They're going to probably want 30 or 40 million, 22 million. Hmm, that's interesting. He's on about 70 grand a week. Let's have a look at Luciano. Approach the buy 17 to 26, but he's only on 45. Ooh. That is, that is massive. What about Vinaldum? He could be so key, especially as a cam. 16 to 22, he's on 70,000. Holy crap, I really... I even need to sell Coley, get the deal done in like three and a half minutes to be able to really go for someone. I don't know if I'll be able to... If I wouldn't be able to do... Oh, this is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. I've got to really, really think. I would love Dybala so much. But Luciano Vieto, he's got the high low. He's Argentinian. He could play up top with Gab so well. Look at that. High low, four star skills, right footed, long shot taker. He's like a dream come true. He's like a wet dream. I'm going to put a punt in for him. He's 24 years old. I'm going to put a punt in. He earns the lesser of the wages, so it's it's like the, the lesser of the two evils. This going at 15 million. Oh, that's a huge amount of money. I need Coley to sell, but I don't want Coley to sell. This is frustrating. Coley's playing well for me now, so I don't want him to sell. If I can pick this lad up, I can play Gabs in the cam roll. 
that's my that's my theory. That way I don't have to worry about going for Vinaldum. As much as I'd love to bring Vinaldum in, you've got to think logically. I've just got to utilise what we have to the best of our ability. Unacceptable. 25 free Wow, 25 mil. I ain't got 25 mil. I don't even know if I can use a player in this deal to even get me close to that. Oh, Shalaba. Shalaba plus 15 mil. Uh, plus 15 mil. Hmm. That's what I'm thinking at the moment. I'm going to put Shalaba in there. I'm just going to up it to 18 million. I'm happy with the, with the defensive midfielders I've got. I've got more choices. As much as Shalaba is a good player, he's now worth a few squid. If this can clue the deal for me, I'll be very interested. I'm going to have a little punt on Dybala as well, do you know? I am going to have a little punt on him, just in case I can work my magic with Dybala more than uh, Vieto. I would love Dybala. I would love both of them, to be honest. I just ain't got the fundage. So, obviously, I'm going to have to offer 20 million. That's without a shadow of a doubt. 20 million quid. He does earn a lot of money. Then I'm going to bung in the same sort of deal. At the end of the day, it's going to be the same sort of deal. So, I'm going to bung in Shalaba. Oh... This 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 is this is massive. This is absolutely massive. He's left footed as well. He could play on the gab side, cut in with that left foot and bang, score me a load of goals. He's got the four star skills. Oh, this is very, very, very interesting. Two players that I really, really want. Two players I desperately want to bring into the club. I mean we bought in four fantastic signings regardless, but these could be absolutely ma oh my days. Palmero have accepted it. But Villarreal are saying it's still unacceptable. Well, my mind's been made up. Dybala it is. We're going to offer a contract for Dybala. I'm going to up his wages because I, I get the feeling I'm going to have an issue with him. So I'm going to up it to 80000 which is no big deal. I'm going to keep him on three-year contract. I'm going to give him a crucial deal. Looks like Coley could be staying at the club. Well, it looks like he could be staying until Christmas at least. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Wow, that was simple to conclude. It's a shame the Real Jimenez deal wasn't as simple to conclude. I'm absolutely chuffed as nuts with that deal. I really am. That is an absolutely world-class signing. We have forked out some absolutely huge money. No one's coming in for any of my other players. We're going to have nothing for January. So I might have to sell if we need anyone in January. But I honestly, I don't need anybody. At this moment. I'm, I'm really, really happy with this. This is good. It's going to be a done deal. It's going to be a done deal. It's going to be a done deal. Done. Transfer window's over. I just bought in Dybala. I just bought in Dybala. I just bought Dybala into Colchester. Right, so Monker, sorry fella, you're going to be dropping, dropping down the pecking order. There he is. Oh my days. I can't actually believe we bought Dybala in. That is purely and utterly mental. Wow, is all I can say. Wow. Absolutely wow. Squad report retirement. We're going to have a quick look at the squad report. Just going to literally fly through this at warp speed. Benedetti. Oh my God, Benedetti. Oh my God. My Germans, I love my Germans so, so much. I love them. I love them. I love them. Oh my God, he is disgusting. He is disgusting. He is disgusting. My God, he is disgusting. Oh my days. My, he's, he's still unhappy. Why are you unhappy? Feels he is too big for the team. Yeah, but I guarantee if I now give you 20, uh, like a 5 to 10 grand pay rise, you will become Billy Big Bollocks and you'll be like, oh yeah, I love the club. Oh, I love this. I love that. Blah, 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 blah. 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 That's all I have to say on the situation. 
Okay, let's not worry about that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna punt him the contract and see what happens. Just gonna punt him the contract. One year, ten months. Right, okay. I'm not really fussed about them. Them deals are all right. They're fine. They're fine. Where is he? Where's the contract refuser? That you watch. Oh, he wants twenty-five grand. Okay, I'll give you twenty-five G. Plus, you do not. Yeah. Let's let's see. Let's just push him. Is he push me just to give him more money? God, that first team looks amazing. That first team looks amazing. Uh, no, he hasn't come back to me yet. Mm, right, I'm not fussed about that. Not fussed about that in any way, shape or form. Anyway, that is where I'm going to leave this episode. I'm going to conclude it there. In the next episode, we will see the Norwich game and, of course, the Cup game against Charlton. I did say that I'd do a league game and a cup game in the same episode, but the transfer window was at the end, so it just makes sense to stop it here. So the episode's not too long because there's going to be a lot of gabbling before the transfer window and during the transfer window. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode and hopefully you're enjoying how we're doing at this moment in time. If we can pick up a win against Norwich, that'd be sensational. Dybala making his debut. Can he get a debut goal like Jimenez? All my days, that'll be beautiful. Anyway, till next time, I will catch you later. Hated to love it, I'm on the way to the summit, and all the haters are waiting to see the day that I plummet. They better stay in their place because the paper is coming, and when I make it, the bank is getting the payment of nothing. Now I'm destined to make it big. I think by now I've made that evident, but I'm grinding till they know Calvin Coolidge is the rapper and not the. Pre